All right, YouTube, so this is yet another trip to the thrift, Portland edition, with two legends in the vehicle. We got Mr. Paul Cantu right here, the thrift legend, hey guys. and hey. the old school thrifter, someone who used to thrift. We actually revived the thrifting hey. spirit in him today. Hey. Jacob J. Keller, hey. there we go. This Goodwill right here was recommended by yours truly, Jacob J. Keller. He said this is one of the better Goodwills in the Portland area. So, you know, we're just out here just getting everyone, face shots, everything. Okay, you guys know when I'm thrifting, I'm always hunting for those essential pieces. This right here is a size large, according to this. Hopefully this fits, but it's a really dope essential Nike zip-up hood. This thing is raw. I'm really stoked to try this on, and I hope it's not too big for me. Look, it's even got little back pockets. Hey, that's high fashion. Okay, so I found this dope little Forever 21 men's bomber right here. This thing is sick. It is size small, sadly, so I'm going to have to pass. But this would definitely be a good essential piece if it was size medium. I'm kind of bummed to pass on this, to be real, because I've been looking for an essential bomber. And on top of that, you can see some little skeet stains that someone tried washing off. So this is definitely going to be a pass, but still a dope find regardless. Okay, so there's really not many like crazy shoe selections here but they just have such a large selection it's crazy hey you got the throw up pinata right here look at that pure oh art there is so much heat in here oh my god so much heat look at all that heat yo so you guys already know jacob just caught a new spot i think i'm yep. gonna cop mine right here right this is gonna be dope right here just cop this you know, I think this would be a perfect size for me. As you guys know, I'm small. It's not quite as nice as his uh, condo, but um, you know, still, it's pretty nice. It's got open up. This is a good front door right here. Just boom. Woo! Dang, right, they got your boy on camera. Out of the first good will today. There's a bike in the street. Also, gangsters. So, <laughs> we got a BMX tree right here. Paul just noticed this random bike in the tree. 14 footage. First hand Oregon, we out here. This is a good way to prevent your bike from getting stolen. We're stepping out of the uh, AFA, aka Bruce Wayne's Batmobile right here. Black on black, you got the Mustang lit up in there. And then you notice this right here, you got the horse on the ground. That thing is freaking sick. This Boom. is the way I live. <laughs> yeah, boy, still push, baby. I don't know how the rest of it goes. <laughs> Cause, you take it and you like, fucking run with it. Like, that's what I'm saying. And then, like, I like the walking like all the time. Like, it's just like fun, it's like more fun that way. But also it's like a piece of art, it like also is like saying something like yeah. They're all having a real talk and stuff. Yeah. I just want to show you guys how uh, Mr. Keller be flexing and finessing on me. You guys know I F's with Tommy and Tommy Hilfiger is my ish. Look at him with the Tommy Hilfiger rug though. That Tommy though. Hey, man. All right, yo, it's been a pleasure. I got to film yeah, the goodbye, sure, man, man, as yeah, always. I appreciate you guys. So, you know, we're going to go hit some stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some employee yeah, passes yeah. from yep. the man. Got gotcha, you, man. So, yeah, have yeah. a good day, bro. Yeah, take care, guys. We'll link up soon, bro. Yep, but, Okay, I don't normally promote for Goodwill because I don't really like them because they tax on their she. But all we can really hate is Goodwill because they're open later. And on top of that, um, we don't really know any other thrift stores around here. So we're going to have to, uh, you know, Keep all the goodwills in the area. All right, so we just got talked to um, and basically told that we can't record in here. However, we talked to the supervisor and he said that we could after we explained to him what we do and everything like that. I just came across this North Face. I don't really know why that ghost is coming over the intercom. Anyways, just came across this North Face 1299, which is actually pretty good for North Face in the Northwest. Okay, I just came across this really dope North Face. I love old school North Face colorways like this. It is 1499 because it's missing the hood right there. Definitely a dope find. This is woman's, but still. Look at that mink interior. Dang, this thing is dope. I wish it wasn't so beat up in the back with some little skeet stains and everything. So I'm gonna have to pass, but still definitely a dope find. And for the personal collection, this would be a must cop for 10 bucks. I literally caught this exact same North Face jacket in California for like two or three bucks a while back. Of course, we are in the Northwest, so they're taxing on North Face, but still really dope to see this exact same jacket again in the exact same colorway. Really clean, simple Nike dry fit right here. No ribbing. This would definitely be a cop if it wasn't $10, but a little bit too much for the personal collection in my opinion, but still a really dope piece. I don't really know if I need this, but this is just such a dope font. You got reflective accents and this pink Adidas jacket. I'm pretty sure this is a woman's size large. I'm going to have to try this on, see how it fits, and I might cop. Okay, Paul just came across this dead stock, new with tags, 
Nike like poncho hoodie. It's marked a size medium, but it's supposed to be super large. I'm pretty sure it's for females, but I don't really care, and I'm probably gonna cop it regardless. I love this colorway. I put bottom jeans, boom, with the bar. Okay, I'm gonna have to interrupt Mr. Paul Cantu while he's talking to me because he's found these really dope Adidas right here. Stan Smith's, I was gonna cop if they were going to fit me. However, it looks as if they're not gonna fit. I'm sorry that you're not in focus, hold on. Okay, so sadly these are a little bit too small, half a size too small. I tried them on just to see if maybe they fit a little big, but I'm gonna have to say goodbye. So I found these really dope Air Maxes right here. I was super stoked, cause I was thinking, man, these would be super sick to cop with the official Gotti crew neck that I have, the pink Madison long sleeve. Anyways, sadly I'm gonna have to pass, it's $29.99, and they are women's 9.5, so they do not fit me okay so we are at this boutique looking goodwill at first i was worried it was a donation center i hate donation centers goodwill if you are watching stop making donation centers because that is super annoying and ooh, look at that matte black bike not quite as cool as mine but mighty close yours. yeah right it's so better than yours He's lying to himself, he knows better. Yo, so Mr. Paul Cantu is debating on whether he's gonna be kicked out or not. I'm pretty sure he's gonna kick us out, but before he does so, check out this Hurley by Pendleton. Really, really dope. This thing is marked at $12.99, which is a bit much, but still really, really dope fine. This thing is insane. Dang, I love Pendleton. So, I wouldn't shop here if I were you guys. I'm just saying, from the Portland This guy is a nice guy, but don't ever shop there again. I'm gonna contact Dale and let her know. Never come to this location on Broadway and 13th. Don't do it, ever. We got a Kanye West these thrift stores that be trying to hinder us thrifters. Everybody in Atlanta right now at the Louis Vuitton store, if you black, don't go to Louis Vuitton today. Dead boys. Anyways, we are at the third Goodwill, or actually technically fourth Goodwill, I guess. But if you guys noticed, the last two Goodwills tried kicking us out. The first one, unsuccessful because we are bosses. The second one, completely successful because they are boo. Anyways, let's see if this Goodwill Superstore comes through because Paul hasn't copped anything yet. I've only copped two items. And hitting four thrift stores with two items is not good for the thrift gods. Normally, we always walk away with trash bags of goodies. Okay, Mr. Paul Cantu just found these really dope blazers right here. Look at that. You got the crimson red swoosh with the red Nike background. You got all this graffiti on it. Damn, that's dope. Blazers right there. I'm gonna have to cop these. These are size 10 and I have tons of extra laces, so I'm gonna have to cop. Sadly, I'm gonna have to pass on these. Look how bad that sole is separating. Yeah. Dang. These are really dope though. Definitely would cop if it that's wasn't for that sole separation. Over. Just a soldier. So I just found this really dope Redskin starter jacket. $7.99, a definite cop for the site. Look at that. Boom, Those starter. Brand new. NFL embroidery right here. Look at that sleeve embroidery. Redskins, oh my god. $7.99, this Goodwill just came through. This is super clutch. Check out this dope Fila jacket right here. This is so sick. You guys know I love vintage Fila. However, this style of jacket is not really my thing. Italia right there, Fila right there. Really, really sick size medium would fit. However, I'm gonna have to pass just because like I said, this style of jacket is not for me. So we got the Neon Icon Thrift Ref exclusive right here. Look at all the neon hits. You got the purple codeine, you got the violet, you got the bubble gum, you got the lime green, you got the black, you got everything you can imagine all up on that ass. Okay, you guys know how I love vintage outerwear colorways. Look at this. This colorway is super sick. This right here is actually Columbia. This thing is dope. It's only $6.99, so I might have to pick this up. I'm going to try this on and see how it fits, but dang, that is dope. So Mr. Paul Kansu has to be feeling happy. Shut your mouth. Stop that. We need to make sure everyone is out by the time the store closes. They need to make sure that it's there that we are out by the second. Literally to the second. Oh my god, jeez. Okay, now back to this before I was really interrupted. Mr. Paul Cantu must be feeling good because he did not cop anything until we walked in this goodwill. Sadly, we are going to be kicked out shortly because we have to leave. But check out this really dope Tommy Hill figure cut. And so right here, you got the flag right there. You got this big separated blue partition on the T. This thing is raw for seven bucks. Yeah. Fire! Oh, by the way, if you guys don't know, this is the HFV Domo Beads collab. Came through in the clutch at the end, so I'm very happy about the three items that I acquired today. It's been three Goodwills, one of them FU in Portland, but the other have been great. So, yeah, let's get into the three recap right now. Four Goodwills. Yeah, it was like, I was excluding that one. God! H! Tree! Anyways, I just had to record that last bit of happiness. I don't really know why I'm recording this segment at all. 
I just wanted to record his happiness because he was feeling kind of downtrodden after a good day just because he did not find any thrifted heat. But of course, as you can see, he is live as hey. ever and flyer than a feather in any type of weather. And yeah, thank hey, you, look, Will, for coming up. through. Them bushes bloods, though. Hey, banging. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the thrift recap segment of this trip to the thrift. This is a pretty epic trip to the thrift. In one video, I got my dear friend, Mr. Paul Cantu, and my dear friend, Jacob Keller, the thrift god and the fashion god, in one video to go thrifting in Portland, Oregon. That's pretty freaking epic. Anyway, some of the items that I copped in this trip to the thrift have already been sold, sadly. Me and Paul did a lot of thrifting while he was up here in the beautiful Northwest, and we were trying to get a lot of those items out to you guys, so we actually sold a lot of the pieces, but I do have two things to show you in this trip to the thrift for my personal collection. Before I show those pieces off, I just want to say that if you guys are upset at all because you guys did not have the chance to cop any of the items that we did cop in these trips to the thrift, Make sure you guys bookmark the website hfv.bigcartel.com and check back regularly because we post all of our thrifted finds to the website. And also make sure you follow HFV Official on Instagram. Like I said, that's HFV Official. That will be somewhere on the screen. And both of those will also be in the description below. Before I get into it, make sure you follow my personal account on Instagram, which is at the Star Life. For those of you that follow me, you guys know my feed is dope as what is it? And I plan on getting some pictures of fits with both of these items to show you guys how I style these pieces. So yeah, that will be somewhere on the screen and in the description below along with all of my other social networks. Now the two items that I got for my personal collection are pretty insane. The first piece is this really dope Nike jacket. This jacket's really thick, like it's super, super thick. It's like two jackets in one. You can actually feel the material inside the material. Oh, it's really, really weird. Um, it has back pockets right there. It's got front pockets, it has the nice little Nike Tech fleece zipper thing. It's got double buttons around the neck for the hickey hider. You guys know I love jackets that have the hickey hider. The reason that we call it that is because if you are living that single lifestyle and you are making out with a female or a male, whichever you prefer, and that individual of the opposite sex or same sex happens to give you a hickey, and say you decide to go on a date with another individual sometime after that hickey, you can hide it and still look fly with a dope piece that has a nice little hickey hider on it. I love this Nike hoodie and I got this for $10. Now the next piece had so many people going crazy on Paul's vlog video, which I will leave in the description below. I'll leave a link to that. But definitely a really dope piece. This thing is insane. It's this sample Nike poncho. This thing is nuts. As you can see, it's short in the front, but it's gonna be really dope for layering because it has a super drop back. It's all mesh inside. It has this really nice like heathered cream colorway. It's super sick. You have like a funnel neck or like a cow, so the hood's kind of weird and different. I'm pretty sure it's actually a woman's poncho, but I really could give two shits. This thing is so sick, and I'll definitely rock this and make it look super dope. As you can see, new with tags, it's a sample tag, so it basically warns you of any flaws the product might have because it's a sample. I've had so many offers on this thing, it's crazy, and it got pretty high up there. I'm not really too sure if I'm gonna keep it or not because the offers are pretty hard to say no to at this point. Anyways, two really dope Nike items in this trip to the thrift and I caught some other pieces like the Redskin starter jacket that was super sick that already sold sadly. But let me know what you guys think of these items in the comments below and make sure you hit that like button. Like I said make sure you bookmark hfv.bigcartel.com and follow HFV official on Instagram. While you're following that on Instagram make sure you follow my personal account on Instagram which is at the star life. That will be somewhere on the screen and in the description below with all of the other links that I mentioned and a link to all of my other social networks. Thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it and as always keep living the star life. You ask no time on the flop. Name these hoes, see my dog. But tell the fire out to see that dog. She got to be better to get this loud. I need a fat ass and yellow hydro. What you think this dead for? Said the fuck you think this dead for?